All right, here we go, baby. Joe Schmo, episode four. You know what's fucking crazy, guys? Is that the Joe Schmo show, the show we're watching from 2003, the day I post my reaction to this show on my YouTube channel, which has done pretty well, by the way. <laughs> go me. This show has just gotten rebooted as of yesterday in 2023, 20 years later. Is that not crazy? What are the fucking odds of that? They're rebooting the show the same day I upload my reaction to it. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's do it. While Matt is being interviewed about his breakdown the previous night, the cast and crew make the risky decision to continue with the show as planned. So he got pretty upset in real time about Earl leaving. Seeing like the whole process, the whole thing. And we were devastated to... I was pretty sad watching this last time. First off, we obviously had a very emotional reaction last night. To that end, we're going to be moving a little faster. Still going forward. Following the eviction ceremony, uh, I tried as hard as I could to fight it. Earl's speech was so touching. You know, him saying that Kip had helped him. My I gotta think about one yeah, that probably smoke. taught me the most, that'd be Kip. I mean, that really, really- That's so fucking sad when he said Kip and then did, gave him a high five and ignored him. So mean. You know, because that is the essence of life to me, you know, that's what's important. That is what makes the world great. He really showed that he had changed and it was rough to see him go. I mean, we're dealing with real people and real emotions and it can be difficult. I never thought about that, you know? I thought, hey, what if I win 100 grand? What if I become famous? I never thought, God, what if I really like the people and don't want to vote them off? No problem with Ashley, though. We rallied the troops for Ashley. No problem there. Get her out of here. He hasn't also said anything about Earl leaving him hanging there, which I guess is nice. He hasn't said anything about it. What's up, Hutch? After Earl got evicted and Matt took it really hard, all the creators, the producers, are scrambling to rearrange the game. So they decide that Dr. Pat and Hutch have slept together. Where were you this morning? I'm sorry. How does that fix things? <laughs> <laughs> He's getting really emotionally invested in this show. How can we solve this? Should we cancel the show? Or should we, like, we tell him? No, let's make up new character plot lines. Let's add in sex. You know, Hutchie got a little action last night. Oh, did he? Let me just put it this way. I'm Dr. Pat. I'm Hutch. You're so cool. Right. Dude, I'm just so full of shit. I got mad. my head examined. Hey, she's going to get she mad that no you one. have the dolls. I guess it's to make him feel better or like distract him, I suppose. Dude, I've had more than the dolls, trust me, at this point. I got my head examined thoroughly. I'm on her knees in the shower. I think we should talk to her about this. Whatever. Whatever, dude. She's cool with it. We talked about it, bro. We had a therapy session last night. Whatever. We opened up to each other. She opened up to me. Literally, dude. I had a breakthrough. I broke through her pants. <laughs> her underwear Damn. and her labia. Dude, he's guys, making comments about how Hutch he is dope. With Dr. I wish I was Hutch, dude. Like, I, don't oh, know, I like, wish I was him. He was kissing and telling, like, from what he said, you know? Is anyone thrilled by this? I got about some, what? I got about some action, me having sex? Please. Hutch is nasty, and, I, and Dr. <laughs> Pat is not. She has class, and even yesterday, she wanted to vote Hutch off, and he smells, and... She's so cute. <laughs> That's like outside the character. He smells. Do we think Rickety Cricket made him smell worse for this character? Or does he just smell in the way he smells? I was going to demonstrate Thanks. what we did. You know what I'm saying? Isn't that kind of private? I thought you said you were okay with that. Well, it's okay. We want you to know we told him that he's not supposed to touch those. You know, uh, <laughs> you know what? This Everything's out in the open. It's cool. There's no reason for it to be weird. And then Dr. Pat comes in and they're having like some sort of like odd interaction uh, throughout a little bit. Like she kind of acknowledged it a little bit, I guess. I mean, I guess this helps distract Matt, but he, he seems sad about this too. <laughs> it seems like it's kind of like tacking on to the Earl sadness. No, you guys have seen a game. That's unacceptable. There's a game going on last night. Mm -hmm. Did you stop? <laughs> what? It's disgusting and I don't know I would hope now that she's a family and marriage counselor that she would have learned from some of her mistakes she may need to 
make a new career choice. Um, <laughs> no offense, Dr. P, but really, I gotta say that. He's calling her Dr. P, too. They're tight. We're just jazzed up for this game. We're all gonna get into right, I've seen so many pictures of this game. And we're gonna ram into each other. It's gonna be hilarious. We're gonna look hilarious, and it's gonna be great. <laughs> just looking at the costumes on the ground and anticipating putting them on was a blast. Uh, I looked down and saw mine. I was glad I had some nice nipples. Uh, <laughs> Brian mentioned claustrophobia, and I had to throw it out of my head because I immediately started like, I'm like, why'd you say that, you know? We're getting in our suits. And, I feel and that. Poor Molly has a panic attack. Yo, yo. I never understood claustrophobia as a kid. I totally get it now. I totally get it now. So I was feeling sick to my stomach a little bit. Thought it was something I'd eaten. And I just, it hit me like that. I snapped. I started just, tears came up out of nowhere. And I'm like, you gotta get me out of here right now. I don't know what it was. I got panicked. <laughs> and she Hello? cannot do the game. So she decides she's gonna pull herself from the game. So I'll just, here, give me your hand. Uh. The Sumo Slam was intended to be a physical comedic release <laughs> to okay. ease the tensions of the previous night. It sounds like it's going to go the opposite <laughs> direction. What ended up happening is we end up sending one of the actors to the hospital. And who did it? Matt. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Who the fuck gets hurt? All right, guys, we have designed today's pampering competition to alleviate any pent-up frustration you guys might have built up over your stay. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Sumo Slam. Please be Hutch, please be Hutch, please be Hutch, please be Hutch. I mean, I don't want the actor to get hurt, but you know, if Matt like came out defending everyone else. Sumo. We're gonna be split up into two groups of three. The members of each group will compete against each other. Last person standing from each group will compete in the final round. Last yes. person standing by you. Now, if you land on your stomach, you're allowed to try to get back on your feet and continue the fight. However, if you land on your back, sayonara. Game over, okay? If you're the last one to be standing in the game in the final round, you will win. And the prize today is six nights and seven days at the Green Valley Spa in St. George, Utah. It's an adventure oh. spa, a tennis and golf resort in Utah's Red Rock Canyon country. It's a beautiful place. Never you're gonna love to stay nice. there. To pick the teams, I will be asking you one by one to come up here and pick one of these fortune cookies. That's who's gonna decide who the teams are. All right, so Matt, why don't you start? Matt! Yeah! Here he comes. He's pumped, and so we start getting pumped. And then I hear in the most harrowing, scary voice I've ever heard from another human being, he turns to Dr. Pat and goes, Better hope it's not group one. I hope it's not group one. Is that really that threatening? <laughs> I mean, if you know Matt, it's more of a playful kind of thing, right? But now we know he sent someone to the hospital. I hope it's not Dr. Pat. I knew it was me, Dr. Pat, and Matt. And I'm like, oh. I, I was like ready to pull a producer aside and say, man, you better get her out of this group or she ain't gonna make it. All right, group one, I want you to take your positions, put on your helmets and get ready to go into the ring, okay? <laughs> He said, you better hope you're not in group one. Because he's in group one. They were split up with the groups. So he said, you better hope you're not in group one. The Kristen wig. Okay, actually, yeah, I never mind. I take it back. This guy is a fucking psychopath if you give him the right environment for it. I mean, what? What is he doing? God damn, man. I've never seen him like this. All right, warriors. Pray to your ancient ancestors. Bow to your enemies. And prepare... For battle! Oh, oh, Kristen Wiig's down! <laughs> Did they talk about this? Oh, let's run that back, Kristen Wiig. <laughs> Straight off the get-go, just two-handed push. <laughs> he did not hold back immediately. <laughs> oh my god! Out! Matt is our first winner! After Was it her neck? Dr. Pat parallel oh. to the ground, and then he turns to Brian. You can see Brian pretty much just running out of the circle and uh, declaring himself the loser to avoid getting hit by this raging bull of a man. Oh, boy. The winner of round number one is Matt. Woo! Oh, she's crying. She's hurt. Oh, God. No, it was Kristen Wiig. Oh, no. Kristen Wiig got hurt. Oh, no. She really committed to the role. There. Okay. Yeah, her neck kind of hit. 
Right, you're gonna, you're gonna roll you. Oh, she's crying. Oh, and when I recognized that she was hurt, then it, it got you know deadly serious. We were all pretty scared there for a moment. Because she could sue us for so much money. But I turned around and there, Doctor Pat is you know yelling, you know, get this effing suit off me. I'm like. Oh, yeah, that suit man. definitely had no neck protection whatsoever. You see her neck go, like there's nothing back there. It was just loose. First thing he does is he pile drives Dr. Pat six feet into the ground. Matt's looking <laughs> over at her like, I, you know. I love work. that angle because you get to see how happy she was. Oh, look the fucking goofy grin on her face before she gets dead. Matt's looking over at her oh, like, I, you know, could this get any worse? You know, my, my father figure leaves the show. Someone that I really respected ends up sleeping with the scum of the earth. And then yeah, I see, that doesn't help. Why did they do that? That doesn't help at all. Someone you respect started sleeping with the scum of the earth. How did that help? Now she's going to the hospital. I was waiting for her to say, you know, I'm an actress. I'm not Dr. Pendle. Get me the, get me the hell out of here. The one thing that we swore we would never do to him again was make him cry. And I look over at Matt and... I see just a little tear roll down his cheek. Okay, I do like, okay, we have had some bad moments in this show where it does feel like he is a bit of a laughing stock, a bit of the joke is on him or whatever. And maybe they're just saving face, but in these asides, it does seem like that wasn't their intent, even though it's happened a decent amount of times. <laughs> so. God, I'm really sorry. About it's not as bad as I originally thought it was going to be when I went into this show, where I really did think every single challenge was to make this guy look like a fool. I guess it drove home that this was a wild card. This guy was not in on the joke, and that we had to watch ourselves not only in terms of the performances and keeping the secret, but also physically, because you don't know when you're doing stunts and games like this that are so physical what could happen. Even though Dr. Pat was on her way to the hospital, we couldn't stop. As much as it bothered us, we had to keep going and play the game. Really? You guys are going to keep going? After we've just proven that this fucking neck setup is clearly not safe, you're really going to keep going. Okay. I think I have to beat the Hutch because Matt wants to kill the Hutch. And I was like, well, he That's so fair, actually. So now, yeah, they have to act and figure out who should be going up against Matt. Because if it was Hutch, Hutch would die. If Kip wins, he'll go easy on Kip. Everyone ready? Pray to your ancestor warriors. Ah, yeah. let, let Kip win. Yeah. And prepare for battle. Go, Ashley. Go, Kip. You guys got to go a little harder. Ashley, get up! You can still get up, Ashley! He's out of the circle! Watch out! Now roll, Ashley! Do you call this cultural appropriation? I mean, I don't know what you call this. Yeah! Kip is the winner! My only comments about it is, yeah, why are their nipples so pronounced and their belly buttons so pronounced? If this makes it into the YouTube video. Yo, guys, let me know in the comments section below how racist do you think this segment is? A little one to ten, drop it below. I won't give you a stance on it because I'm trying to protect my career. I think it's whatever you guys think. The winner of round number two is Kip. Yeah, Woo! Yay! Now he must face the championship of round number one, oh, no. Matt. Kip was real happy, and then he realized that he and I would be going up against each other. So I think he got a little scared and got a little reserved. I'm telling you, we were scared of him. He was making mean <laughs> faces. Like Everyone's scared like, of him. Hey. All right, but him versus Kip, I think he'll be. Never mind. He's going to kill Kip. Kip is dead. Kip is oh, going to die. Oh, I'm going to knock you down on your back. Finally, our battle between our two champions at stake, a week's vacation at a beautiful spa in Utah. I crack open a beer I'm for this one. Matt. Now you can usually tell in the person's eyes, you know, how intense they are. Man, I was scared. He's just like, gonna kill you, little gay boy. You know, I was like, oh no. Little gay boy? What is this, the tailor? Get him! Oh. And I couldn't find him back. I can't even be like, <laughs> you know, I'm just like, oh, God, don't hit me. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Matt, okay, it's fine. Matt's yeah, just, just walk out. Yeah, it's okay. Matt, going to spend a week in Utah. That's fine. Congratulations. Are they really giving him the Utah thing? Oh, or is that just a joke? Oh, his neck. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh. All right, let's see how Chris and Wiggs do, and I'm curious. National television? Maybe it got a little offensive there. Maybe it got a little offensive there. Let's just do a toast. Cheers. 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 Cheers to Dr. Pat. Dr. Dr. Pat. Dr. Pat. Quick, speedy recovery. Speedy, speedy. speedy recovery. Brian uh, came to dinner and was fully willing to admit that he had um, had his earlier release uh, that day, like I had predicted. I'm like the Malcolm X of masturbation in here. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that grossing you out? Everybody's been talking about it. Tell me about it. Right. You've never done that? Have I ever done that? Yeah. That's good enough. And she said, I didn't admit anything. And I said, that's fine, but it's just nice to know she's like the rest of us. She's masturbated? I, I can't see her the same. At lunchtime yesterday, Ashley said to me, well, see, I have a crush on Ralph. And she said that she believes Molly is kind of throwing herself at Ralph. Yeah, the Ralph love triangle. I appreciated Ashley confiding in me about her you know, crush on Ralph. You use some self moves. Like, you just wanted to vote her out the other day. Are they like cool now? What I really f felt awkward about was that that conversation transferred into uh, slander on Molly, um, which, you know, immediately raised up my antennas. I'm gonna go fulfill some needs that I have. Oh. Have a meeting? Do they involve a thousand leprechauns? Please. No. So he's gonna go masturbate. Turn on camera six, seven, eight, nine. Zoom in. Enhance. Yeah. Yeah. Come on in, everybody. Yeah. 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 See? yeah. Hey, what's up, Ralph? Hey now. Okay, I guess we Before time we skipped started, that one. I'd like to bring in a very special guest. Please give a round of applause to our very own Dr. Pat. Download. Dr. Pat's back, baby. Oh. So, so freaking sorry. Yeah. I've that was an accident. Yeah. Have a seat, guys. Have a seat. Wow. Dr. Pat, I, uh, I never thought that there was any chance of anyone getting hurt. Um, I know I leveled you. <laughs> feel bad. And she was so happy. Please believe me. I will not, I will not take no for an answer on this. And when I say don't say no, it, it's already etched in stone for me. I want you to please take my seven day stay to Utah. No, I said oh, don't I'm say sorry. no. I started <laughs> off by saying. All right, hey, whoever said before we don't like Matt because maybe he was trying to kick out Ashley because she wasn't interested in him anymore. I love Matt. I like Matt. If we're putting them on a tier list, is Ronald fucking taking the W over Matt any day of the week? But I mean, come on. Do we not love this guy too? He's great. He's a little bit of a horn dog, but I love him. And Giving Chris and no Wig his full seven day stay in Utah. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. The not real stay. But yeah. Dr. Pat. Dr. Pat. You couldn't write this better. It totally shows his character, which once again is like the greatest stand up guy, nicest guy, the guy that every girl is like. We love him. But as a character, I'm a bitch. I don't like him. And Ralph is hot. The coolest, sweetest person in the world. Um, uh, My neck kind of hurts a little bit, but he's trouble. great. And the fact that he gave that to me was unbelievably sweet and generous and amazing. Earlier today, you spent some time physically assaulting your opponents. Now it's time to verbally assault. Wild. <laughs> that sounds like a segue I would do for one of my YouTube videos. Earlier today, you spent time physically assaulting each other, so now let's verbally assault each other. <laughs> now it's time to verbally assault them. Succeed in this, <laughs> and not only will you win today's Lord of the Manor immunity challenge and the coveted immunity robe, but you will also earn the title of Master Debater. Master Debater. <laughs> Master Debater. It was rigged, of course, as all games were. We had to make sure that Matt won this game, which turned out like not to be a problem. In this tournament-style challenge, I'll assign you and another housemate a topic. Whoever can argue his or her side the longest without stopping or laughing wins the round. Now, for the lap of luxury twist you knew was coming, your opponent is free to distract you any way they want. There's nudity the in the scene? Are, really? They cannot cover the speaker's mouth. They can't cause the speaker any pain. Should I switch to the uncensored version? No. Let's begin. Matt and Kip, why don't we get you up here first? Right. Matt and Kip, let's do this. You represent. Okay, here are your topics. Okay. Matt, you will be defending the point of nice and easy 
Kip, nice and easy. Is that movie? You'll be defending Fast and Furious, but for right now, you're trying to destroy. Oh, Fast. nice and easy Thank versus you. Fast and Furious on when masturbating. Begin, I got it. Nice and easy is by far the way to go. Nice and easy Preach. can be applied to things of a sexual nature. Nice and easy can oh, be applied to. I thought we were just talking sexual. Things in school, like, you know, take it slow. Like masturbating in time. school. As we went into Master Debater, I saw that I was paired with Kip, so that immediately got me thinking, like, I don't know, I just thought that he, Kip would go to some limits. Nice and easy can apply to. Now, the reason that whoever censored this is his ass out right now, or is he just kind of twerking on him? Men, women. <laughs> Nice and easy can apply to men. This is probably and a little men. crack. It's nice and easy is the way I like to do things. I like to look Kip in the eye, nice and easy. I like to <laughs> stop. All right, we got time there. Very well Just done. Oh cool. yeah! Oh, wow. we'll well, Matt, stay up there because these people be are real comfortable with each other. I mean, even as actors, like they're kind of just like going at it without any direction. Kip, once again, your topic is Fast and Furious. Okay, we'll start timing when you begin talking. Well, when I meet a guy, he's so sorry. He went right in for the tickle attack. Oh no! Right, you're done. <laughs> you can't laugh, Kip. Our next pairing: Dr. Pat versus Brian. Hey. Dr. Pat, the position you are defending is one night stands, not okay. Huh. Okay, Brian, you'll be defending the one night stands. That's perfectly okay point of view. Mm. <laughs> Seriously, go ahead. Start. Okay. Well, Dr. Pat supposedly had a one night stand. <laughs> All right, I think. Oh, she's actually laughing. She broke. That's, I think that's it. What is she laughing at? <laughs> oh, my God. All right, okay. let's reverse the positions. Put a little Brian, thing out you want to see the time for you to beat is three seconds. I don't get it. One night stands are perfectly okay. I mean, say you're in a house with someone that you just. All right, you won, know, Brian. Congratulations. <laughs> you beat her time. Stiff, stiff competition. Here are your topics. Is it better to give or receive? Molly, you'll be taking the give point of view, naturally. And Ashley, you'll be taking receive. Okay, well, the Bible says that it's always better to give than receive. Because at Christmas time, you give presents. Because you feel... <laughs> yes! Um, where did she touch her? Is she allowed to do that? Ashley, the time for you to beat is nine seconds. Okay. I like to receive attention like other people do, especially when they get headshots Attack her. from other Touch people. Her. She did and to don't you. play the sumo game like someone I know who didn't today because they wanted to talk to the host all day long. Oh, so shit. I guess it's better to receive. Damn, she brought the love triangle card. <laughs> I, you know, I don't even really remember exactly what was said. It just made me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Matt is very uncomfortable because he does not want to be involved in any of this anymore. He just doesn't want it around him. And you beat her. You beat your time uh, 14 seconds. Congratulations, <laughs> Ashley. And you win. All right, our next pairing is Hutch versus Brian. And here are your topics, guys. For love or for money? <clears throat> it's much better to do things for love because with, with love, you can always get money. Or Ooh, maybe you'll it. love someone so much that they, they'll earn all the money and you won't even... <laughs> oh, that's a laugh right there. Did he actually whip his oh, dick out? I knew he had to amp it up a notch and I start cracking up. So I'm like, man, how am I going to beat him to get into the finals with Matt? Hutch, we whip your dick out too. You. Uh, Ball set. Money is obviously the way to go. Ball set. <laughs> Time. Ryan, I think you won that one, buddy. So I decided to pull my entire nut out and go swollen knuckle on him. I mean, it's a tactic. Swollen um, knuckle? A lot of guys have used it. It's like a martial art. Some Never heard that one. Some people may say it was dirty. Some people may say it was underhanded. Some people may say it was a sucker punch. But hey, who was in the finals? <laughs> Nut knuckle. Yeah, that one saved me a few times in life. Won't lie. I relate to that. Got out of some tricky situations with that one before. Yeah, Ashley, you're defending the, the bottom part of top or bottom. And Matt will be trying to distract you. We will start the timing when you start the talking. Bottoms are capri pants. Bottoms are jeans. Bottoms! <laughs> That's time. I'm sorry. Okay, Matt. <laughs> I would like to say he was making a joke, but he went pretty far under there. He went pretty far under there. Bottoms! She's like, producers? Producers? <laughs> That's time. I'm sorry. 
Oh, boy. I would like to say he's joking. Yeah, a lot too far. A lot too far. I'm not going to play. I'm not going to play middle of the road here. What am I doing? Yeah, not a great let's look. see how you did. Three seconds. Okay, Matt, you'll be defending the position. But let's see what she does to him. Ah. And once again, we'll start timing you when you uh, start speaking. When choosing between top and bottom, I always choose top. Top makes me feel better. Yeah, she's way more respectful. All right, we'll stop you there. Well done, that Matt. Wow. Dr. How about some applause for Matt? No, that was bad. I mean, we could all admit that was bad. Well, it's Brian versus Matt. Why don't you guys get up there? Brian versus Matt. Can we say no ball sack in this straight, one? Yeah. I get into the finals and I'm thinking to myself, where does a fella go once he's gone nut knuckle in the semifinals? You know what I mean? The roof is only so high when it comes to what a, a fella can do with his testicles and, in a debating game. I agree. The actor for this guy is my favorite. <laughs> I have to pick a new favorite after Matt has kind of uh, besmirched his name recently. This guy is dope. Brian, you'll start. Yeah, because uh, you know topic. you do a lot of things with your testicles. Reality shows. Outside of debating. Innovative TV or mind-numbing crap? Here he goes. Reality shows are innovative mm. TV because... The mm. <laughs> That's time. Oh, my God. That wasn't a final Four man. seconds you started laughing, Brian. Four seconds as he nuzzled your teat. Get that robe ready, babe. Matt, you are defending reality shows. Mind numbing crap. We get to the He's final round. The and I'm like, I gotta shift this thing into fifth gear, man, or burn my clutch out trying to do it. <laughs> oh, God. Uh -uh. Ryan will be distracting you, and we will start timing you when you start talking. Oh, no. Good God. Reality shows are without a oh. doubt mind numbing crap. When Brian dropped trow. <laughs> okay, hey, to, so. Okay, so. <laughs> So what I said about that guy before, obviously that'd be a double standard if I didn't also say that that's as bad, if not way worse than Matt looking up Ashley's skirt. I would be doing a double standard if I was to laugh and goof off about this one. Clearly a man with his penis out jumping on another man. I think worse assault, but you know, maybe they're just being goofs. <laughs> We go back to jury duty. <laughs> oh, boy. I had my nut sack and, and, and my never you mind. That's got to be a nightmare to blur for the producers, too. They're like, oh, my God, how do we track this thing? It's, it is everywhere. Wedged squarely between this man's shoulder blades. What do you do when you're in this position? When a man is jumping on your back like this, and his dick is out, what is your next move? And uh, nothing. Nothing. He kept talking as if a nude man on his back was as comfortable as aftershave in the morning. <laughs> Reality shows. Have you ever seen Tina Wesson? Have you ever seen some Wow, he was in it to win it. He's slapping his ass. Oh my god. Wow. What commitment. He not only didn't stop, he fucking slapped his ass walk. <laughs> well done, Matt. Oh dear lord. Matt, congratulations. You are wearing the immunity robe. You cannot be evicted in tonight's ceremony. I won the, what I like to call the pimp robe, and uh, it felt great. Made me relax, and it made me feel more comfortable. Awesome! You earned it. Not only are you uh, immune from eviction tonight, but you're also the master debater. I think we can all agree on that. And I think, Brian, you, you argued very favorably for mind-numbing crap tonight. So, <laughs> thank you very much. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you very much. Okay. See y'all later at the eviction ceremony. You won, but I'm- All right, what a weird <laughs> game that was. Oh no, who's getting kicked off? I can almost quote him now. I know the exact lines here. You've all enjoyed living carefree. <laughs> Carefree. The lap of luxury. Lap of luxury. Well, for one but of you, now the vacation you'll go back to your sad existence working for the man. One of you will be saying goodbye to high society. I say Returning to your sad existence. Sad working existence. for the man. Working for the man. This is the richest of rags eviction ceremony. You're each represented here with your very own lap of luxury collector's plate. Your plate, much like your position here, is very fragile. As long as you remain in the game, your plate will remain whole. However, if you receive the most eviction votes, your plate will be cast into the fireplace and shattered. Along with your dreams. Along with your dreams of $100,000. I have a few questions to ask you. 
Anyone feeling particularly vulnerable tonight? Hutch? Why is that? Uh, well, I get the feeling people don't want me around, so I'm feeling a little, uh, a little cold without that jacket right next to me. Oh. <laughs> it's time to vote. One by one, I'll be asking you to evict the housemate of your choice in secret. Now keep in mind that Matt is wearing the immunity robe. You cannot vote for him. Also, please remember that the votes can't be changed, debated, or overturned. The decision is final, so choose wisely. All right, it's gonna be Hutch, right? Hutch is out, we're losing rickety. Such a long hallway. Who do the producers want to get rid of? I mean, these the notes don't matter, right? I've seen Brian's penis four times today, yep. Brian's balls were very impressive. Ashley again. He really wants Ashley gone. Over Hutch? I guess she was still talking shit about Molly. No, it's got to be personal at this point because she's going for Ralph over him. It's got to be, right? Because there's no reason you wouldn't vote Hutch out over Ashley. There's zero reason. He's showed himself to be a much worse human being. <laughs> okay, I'll go collect the votes. I always wanted to defend Matt, but yeah, that's clearly just a vendetta for her rejecting him. Before I read the votes, I have a little bit of unfinished business to handle regarding today's earlier competition. No, it's not defend your fellow frat boys. I like to defend him because this entire show is against him. <laughs> and he's been nice a lot. So I'm biased to want to defend people in the position like this, but he's done a few weird things. We all know Matt won the sumo slam. But yeah, he's really cool at frat and, and bro. the grand prize. A week's Ooh, stay Chuck, at the brother. Green Valley Spa and Resort in St. George, Utah. Looking up skirts is dope. All right, I went too far. I went too far. To Rewind. However, at the time, Matt didn't know that that wasn't all there was to the prize. There was another part that we were saving to be revealed at this point in the evening. Okay. Dr. Pat, along with your prize comes a one-time only offer. You are certainly welcome to remain in the mansion. Take your chances with tonight's eviction ceremony and future eviction ceremonies in your pursuit of the $100,000. Okay. Or, or you can choose to accept this one-time offer of $25,000 if you will leave the mansion. Serial killer face in the guy. <laughs> if you choose the money, then tonight's eviction ceremony will in essence be void. Dr. Pat's voluntary leaving, and these votes in essence will be meaningless. Should you decline the offer, I'll read the votes as we normally do, and we'll find out which one of you has been evicted from the mansion. The decision is completely up to you, Dr. Pat. Love the cut to Gina's ashes. <laughs> okay. It's scripted though, so which Dr. way we're we going with this? I mean, to even throw her the option means she's going for it, right? Because this is all scripted, so why would they give her the option if they weren't gonna do it? Dr. Pat. Um, although $25,000 is a lot of money, um, I think we can all agree that this show has surprised us in the fact that money is oh. not the most important thing. Um, oh, he likes that. I think I've met some people here that I will be friends with for the rest of my life. So, I don't know, maybe, I mean, I'll just take the money. <laughs> You're accepting the offer. $25,000, and you leave the mansion tonight. Oh, she's so good. Oh, she's so good. <laughs> that was a beautiful delivery. <laughs> yes, that way everyone can stay and... I'm surprised no other actors laughed at that. That was great. Well, then these votes really don't matter. But wouldn't it be interesting to find out who would have been evicted this evening had we gone through with the ceremony? Let me read them to you. Hutch, 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 all Hutch. Hutch. Wow, this asshole's gonna keep going. That's crazy. Ashley. The Hutch. Dr. Pat. Hutch. 
I don't want to lose Dr. Pat. I can't lose Kristen Wiig. She was so much of this show to me. I'm going to start crying. She was my favorite. Hutch. I would have been Hutch. Damn it. Had Dr. Pat not chosen to lead this evening and accept the $25,000. I would have rather lost Hutch Ricky D over Kristen Wiig. would have been evicted with four votes. But since she did, Hutch, this evening, you're safe. But it appears as if you have some work to do in the next 24 hours, or you better win immunity. That's for sure. Well, Dr. Pat, you've accepted our offer. You're leaving the lap of luxury. Then you're now dead. Before you go, please serve me your plate and address the group. Well, riches to rags to a little bit of riches. I'm happy that by me leaving, all of you can stay. I'm not going to cry. Don't cry. You're twenty-five thousand dollars. She's mother. Right. I'm happy that I'm leaving, but I love you all, and I mean it. No matter what, I mean it. So, well, have a great time and have fun. You guys should have fun. That's what it's about. A little extra good news. Yeah. Because you're leaving mm -hmm. voluntarily, you get to keep keep your collective. Oh, yeah. Yes. And we That's the respect she deserves. Congratulations to all of you for getting this far. It's quite an accomplishment. Have a good night and get some sleep. Good episode. A lot of people might think that because I gave the Sumo Slam prize away that I might be upset or regret giving it to her. And I just want to say, not at all. I felt great about it. I felt like I had done something great for somebody. Matt, I want you to know uh, the fall was real, and um, there's eight people, well now seven people in that house that want to be your friend for life and love you, and you deserve every great thing that's gonna happen to you into your life. You've amazed everybody on this project with the size of your heart, and... Um... Damn, she was my favorite. I really don't want her to be on the show.